What's going on guys, Logs here, and today's video is just a little different. So I tweeted out last week that I would like to see sniping skirmish responses rendered in 60 FPS and uh, everyone kind of blew up about that. I didn't realize this was such a big thing, but everyone said that do not render in 60 FPS. It was kind of a meme. Everyone's just shitting on me for saying that and saying, how could you do this? You are complete garbage. So I was confused on why everyone was so emotional about this and I wanted to kind of dive into it. So for the most part, everyone says do not render in 60 FPS, render in 30 FPS. So I wanted to make a poll and I posted on Twitter, do you prefer watching montages rendered in 1080p 60 or 1080p 30? And 60 actually won by the bare minimum. Basically the longest time during the poll, 30 FPS was winning. And somehow on the very last like couple hours, just a bunch of people voted 60. But the only people who commented on the poll were people voting for 30, saying that everyone else is, you know, an idiot if you like 60 FPS clips or whatever. And I didn't really get an understanding why. I just thought, you know, 60 FPS looks better. There's more frames. It looks like cleaner. But uh, apparently that's not the case for most people. So I only saw a couple people who actually responded with a competent, you know, reasoning behind 60 FPS is bad. One of them was from Remedy who said basically 60 FPS messes up with effects and stuff. And you only want, really want to use it if it's uh, just a raw video and then 30 FPS is best for everything else. You know, that makes sense. You know, I understand in that aspect, I'm not really an editor per se, so I don't really deal with all these effects and stuff, so I don't have any knowledge about it. So yes, I agree, if I did more edits and I was more competent about editing, then I would probably realize that 30 FPS renders um, are better for effects and they don't mess with anything. But that's just ignorance on my part, you know. I don't edit that many videos. All I do is, you know, you know, drag and drop pretty much, so. Yeah, this was just more of an opinionated question on what you guys thought. Do you guys like watching 60 FPS renders or 30 FPS? And before anyone says in the comments, yes, I know the difference between a edit rendered in 30 FPS with 60 FPS clips rather than a 60 FPS render with 30 FPS clips. I, I understand the difference. So it was mainly just a question on people's preference. And I did see someone who commented saying all of your favorite montages are 30 FPS renders. So it got me thinking and I went back to look at them and uh, no, <laughs> almost all of them were rendered in 60 FPS. The old Raw Team Tages Interitum series, uh, the World War Quad Taj, Ascendancy V3, TTLG. Now, obviously, some of these are a lot older and they didn't have 60 FPS at the time, but it was still rendered in 60 FPS. I know it probably doesn't make a difference because YouTube compresses everything, but you know, that's just, you know, that's just my input because I did see a comment saying that all the old Tajes that were the best were rendered in 1080p 30, and that's just not the case. I also saw a tweet from Kurz that was completely unrelated to everything, all the polls and everything. Yeah, he just said 1080p ruined COD videos. And it got me thinking, you know, did 1080p uh, slash just higher quality ruin Call of Duty videos? Like, was playing and recording in higher quality made it worse? And I just didn't know. I had to, I had to talk to someone else. I wanted to get a third party input for this and bring on an editor who deals with this kind of stuff all the time. So I brought Bobby XY on the podcast and we talked a little bit about it. Here is what he had to say. Everyone hates 60 FPS. What's going on? I mean, I don't know. Uh, Let's see if I have that tweet. I did a poll. Yeah, that, that, was, that surprised me because everybody was talking about how 60 FPS ruins effects, but I, everybody, I'm a pretty effect heavy editor and I rendered in 60 FPS, and I've never received any comment like, this would be better in 30 FPS. Like, I'm gonna try and to I see, asked people I'm about that, yeah. and, and they, they, they told me that they didn't even know I rendered in 60 FPS. So I think this is all bullshit. I think this is like one of those things that people think makes a difference, but they don't actually realize makes a difference at all. I have it pulled up. I did a poll. Do you prefer watching montages in 1080p 60 FPS or 30 FPS? And 60 FPS <laughs> won by like the smallest <laughs> fraction ever. It's like point something. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, when when 60 FPS, I I remember when YouTube first allowed 60 FPS upload, and I was really against it because it it like it looked so weird to me. Like uh, 
uh, it just looked so buttery smooth, and I was so yeah. used to my Taj's looking like, you know, uh, like like the family Taj's, where it's like there's no disable resample. Like you're you're really talking about like a like a yeah. like a rough edit, which I I really like. Um, and I was so I was really anti 60 FPS for a while, and then event one day I was just like. This looks way better. What am I talking about? Like, <laughs> so the majority of people commenting is just saying, you know, only do 30 FPS, 60 FPS sucks. Uh, Remedy says more effects slash velocity slash things done to the video equals 30 FPS synced equals 60. So what I gathered from the comments and from the polls is that basically people only do. People only do 60 if they're not using a lot of effects and stuff like that. I'm not an editor, so I never like delved into any of that. So I wanted to get your take because you've edited and you do all this shit. What what's up? Why is everyone hating on 60 FPS clips? They say it looks worse. Or what? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't think I don't think they know what they're talking about. To be quite honest, <laughs> like like that's it. I just uh I, I don't see it. I, I've never I've never uh, never heard this. And, and then, I think there's a lot like. There's 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 something cool about doing different frame rates because it definitely looks different, yeah. but I don't think it looks worse. And I've never looked at a video and be like, oh my god, the effects so, would look so cool in 30 FPS. I wish this video was in less frames per second. Well, no, that's the thing <laughs> that's for me. The reason I tweeted that is because you know I watched all these sniping skirmish responses. And the majority of them were in 1080p, 30 FPS, rendered. Not not the clips, mm -hmm. but rendered. And that, that's mm -hmm. when people got into arguments about that. Uh, the whole video was rendered, 1080p, 30 FPS. And it, yeah. looked, it looked choppy. It looked like pixelated. Yeah. It looked bad. So I, yeah, I tweeted out, you know, try to render in 60. And people just exploded. I was getting fucking kill yourself. I was getting everything. And I'm like, is it really that big of a deal? <laughs> And I did uh, I did say 1440p because uh, I think that looks better than anything. Um, but 1440p 30 looks good. But I didn't know people were so upset about 60 FPS. I didn't I didn't understand that. But people explained that you know effects get you know fix effects don't look as good in 60. I don't know. I've never delved. Yeah, into I don't that. know anything about that. I don't. I don't know if that's true. I also. I mean, it's all what you see, and we all see things differently. So everyone, everyone's allowed to have their own opinion yeah. or whatever. Um, but uh, but just the bare video, 1080p 30 versus 1080p 60. I think 60 FPS looks better. I that's, think it does too. Opinion. I don't know why everyone. But like, pretty, pretty much always. I also down. don't watch many COD videos, so I don't know what videos people are referring to. Like, well, if the, if they're. There's a whole huge section of the community whose videos I don't watch, and it's not not nothing out of like person person out like like watching COD videos takes like energy out of me, so I, I really have to pick and choose which ones I watch. Um, yeah, well, I watched I watch a lot, and I watch so many on <laughs> I watch so many on stream on 1080p 30 that looked so bad that I I felt the need to tweet something, and that's why I did and. You know, people exploded. I do think fourteen forty thirty looks the best out of all. Uh, it, it's it's about the video itself, and like if if mm -hmm. like like for example, if you're if you're so worried about quality, you're never gonna watch like a family video. But in my opinion, those are the best Call of Duty videos ever made. So, oh, yeah. uh, you know, like all right, well, whatever. People people care about different things, different strokes for yeah. different folks. You know. So yeah, guys, you just heard it from Bobby. I think he put it best. Basically, everyone has their own opinion. Some people like, you know, 60 FPS renders. Some people like 30. Everyone has their own opinion, man. No one's going to like the same thing. And you're not wrong for having your own opinion. Some people might be outspoken about theirs, but doesn't mean yours is wrong, man. So yeah, that's going to be it, man. I, I really like doing these kind of commentary videos. This is the first one I've actually ever done sort of like this on topic and uh i'm sorry if my voice is pretty raspy i am sick right now and i might make a video in the future you know kind of going into this more detail on what i'm sick with and all that so let your uh, imagination fly on that in the comment section but uh big shout out to uh hibby for letting me use his uh gameplay in the background really good modern warfare uh, gameplay. I haven't actually watched the full thing yet, but I'm sure it's pretty good. So uh, big out shout outs to him. And if you guys want to see more of these kind of commentary videos in the future, just let me know, man. So uh, yeah, I'm Logs and I'm out. Deuces.